and they could stand and if by mistake you could go to the other you could also be killed some say blessed are those who know the trumpet they knew how to know the trumpet to differentiate the ones to be aware and they could know that they could vacate they could know the trumpet to make them prepare they could also know the trumpet to stand Christians have the Holy Spirit in their hearts they know how to differentiate the trumpet the trumpet of God they know how to differentiate the trumpet of God they won't ask and those who will remain they ask what they that he came to be with us on earth that's the one that says the great of God as God has been revealed as a man and being with us and world as a man Jesus Christ, he became a man. He became with us. And one day he showed himself to the disciples. And he ate the fish. The small fish. He ate the small fish. As he was God. And he lived with us as a man. With those who had died. Those who we knew. Those who we didn't know. But those who died were believing. And John said in chapter 14. That he saw, saw them in the Mount Zion. And he said a word about them. Those are the ones. And he said a word. Praise God. He cuts Christ to go away from them. After he goes away from our hearts. He gives an order. And the Holy Spirit come away from us. May God forgive us. Whatever reveals a form of us. And you find it not harvested. Even the way to the farm. It is not clear there are some struggles on the way. A way to the lazy farmer. There's some big ones around. I remember there was a farm we used to go while kids. We could fall all the way. A farm of a lazy farmer. Because the way. Ukomarasovuigoregota, <laughs> Amen. Amen. Let's read in the book of the Gospel of John. The Gospel of John, chapter 1. Chapter 1, verse 1. Chapter 2, verse 3 again. Bere nambere hariho jambo jambo yahoranye n'Imana kandi jambo yari Imana wo yahoranye n'Imana mbere nambere ibintu byose niwe wabiremye ndetse mu byaremwe byose nta na kimwe gitaremwe nawe amen ugice cha kabiri murongo wa gatatu haraba ngo nuko vino ishize nyina wa Yesu aramubwira ati nta vino bafite murongo wa gatanu nyina arababwira nyina abwira abahereza ati ico ababwira cose mugikore amen amen John 1 verse 1 it says in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word and the word was God chapter 2 verse 3 and 5 it says when the wine was gone Jesus mother said to him they have no more wine verse 5 it says his mother said to the servants do whatever he tells you. Amen. We thank the Lord our God. Because you've seen this morning. Our well-being. 
It's in the plan of God. Today, let's speak it. Because we've been lent it. When it's in the morning, then evening, just know that God has lent you the hours. Because there are so many who have not seen it. They have not been able to see today. They wanted it. But we are there and we thank God for it. And when you are alive, you feel like when you breathe, you are strong. But again, the spirit, there's a way it's kept. And only God knows it. If he wants to take it away, your relatives, your parents, all of them come to you. And they come, they fall their nose. Because you're smiling. And again, they say, if possible, they may help us so that you are scarce, they may take it to take it to the mortuary. Because Lord has taken away the breath, your nose the nose of the living is made. But when you're there, it's God. The day the Lord will take out your breath, your relatives will smell their nose because you have a bad order. Since you're there today, give thanks to God because you're there. Praise God. Praise God so much. Let also make you to learn how to live with others. Because when the breath comes out of you, people want to show themselves. Let them come down. Because a day will come. And their relatives will go away. And when you're in the mortuary, we get there finding our relatives. And you, you can't wait for them to take him out. Learn how to live with others peacefully so that Christ can find us rushers. We've read the word of God in the Gospel of John. Uh, this good gospel of John, we won't speak much about it because there are others who came before him, including Mark, Luke, and Mark. They have the way they spoke about Jesus. Matthew spoke about Jesus as a king, the one who came to give us the kingdom. And then Mark. And he called him a servant to come to serve us and also give him his soul to us. And Luke and said to him, starting from Joseph till to God and he said to him as a relative or as a person. And when it came to John and it started from heaven and he says the word of God and in the beginning, before the one was there, he was there. This whole earth, the Spirit of God used to walk up on the water. That is the time the word was there. And there's nothing was created that was not created by him. And when he said it again, he said him as a Messiah, the one that the Israelites are waiting for, and then is not yet come, and they're still waiting for him. That's the third prophecy that will be revealed. They'll know it to tell the Antichrist will come, and they'll read the scripture, and they'll find he's not the one. The prophecy has been revealed once, and the time, as they were, he was slaughtering the Again, the second time was the general Titus. Is the, the things he did. And again, it was revealed at that time as the Antichrist was calling the Messiah. But they'll know he's not the one and go away. And also, he'll fight them. He's the one John said as the Messiah. And he saw him as Jesus, who was there before everything was there. As the time we have said, the Israelites are still waiting. May God forgive us. And John said Jesus, starting from afar, and brought the one, and said that he came to be with us on earth. That's the one that says, the great of God is, God has been revealed as a man and being with us and wore the 
as a man, yes. Christ, Abumunu, he became a man, Ananatwe. he became with us, and one day he showed himself to the disciples, and he ate the, the fish, fish is, is, is men, the small fish, fish. He ate the small fish as he was God and he lived with us as a man yes. and John said that about God praise God there are four Johns we won't speak much about them there's the John the son of Elizabeth and Zacharias he was the John the baptized the one He's the one who spoke to Jesus. He spoke about the time he came. As the way he would be. That he won't touch even your shoe. He spoke it in his own way. There's also the John. John of Maria. As he was a nephew to Barnaba. And he was given the name. We find him in the book of Acts. When he, went, when he went with Paul and other apostles. He was the son of Mary. And he had a house in Jerusalem. They used to do various activities together. That's where they shared the Passover. As Jesus was taken away from them, they waited for the Holy Spirit. As the way they asked saying in chapter 2, the day the Holy Spirit came down, and they spoke in tongues, and people said they were drunk, but Peter said they were not drunk. He said if the Holy Spirit, the Spirit, the promise that he wrote, it has been revealed. It's in the same house they were in. And Bernard Barnabas walked with Peter. John Mark walked with Barnabas. But in the first walk as an apostle, the mother was a widow. I don't know whether the, he, she felt whatever she had left home. But in the second journey, and Paul didn't agree with the together, because he left them, this Mark, and he caused Barnabas not to walk with Peter, and Paul walked with Silas, then Barnabas went with John, but the word of God says that the letter he wrote to the Colossians, that they met again, they met again in the book of Colossians, Christians don't depart, among you there are some people who don't greet each other, and so for some years you don't read, you've departed because of nothing. The judgment and the judgment can come to you and you know what to say. The people who can't but you don't speak to each other. There's some people in their family you find them not getting to the house of their uncles. They don't talk to their aunties. There are some Christians who are in the church. They don't talk to each other. They don't listen to each other. And because of that, just think that they are in the church to go heaven. There's no end gate they'll get into. And it's the same gate. It's the gate of Jesus Christ. And they're in the same church. And they, they say that they'll be together in heaven. Do you see? You see that they'll enter in the entrance? It's not possible. But Barnabas and Paul again met. Praise God. This John won't speak much about him. We have much words. He was a son to the aunt of Jacob. As the scripture said, he was also an, a child to the aunt of Jesus. And he was called by Jesus the same as the other disciples. He was the youngest among the disciples. And this John he was among the favorite disciples of Jesus. And again, he was among the three disciples that Jesus revealed on the mountain as the, when the appearance of Moses came to him. Peter said to Jesus, and say, let us make some three tents. And he said, he forgot himself and said, oh, me, this John, he has so many words. 
He is among the three that walked with Jesus as when today is the daughter of Jairus. Not only that, he was also with the disciples in the in Gethsemane as the, the, the day they came to arrest Jesus. He never used to meet Jesus. They always walked together. Even the day they took the Passover, he was seated next to Jesus. Praise God. This is the Jesus that he called the son of the thunder. He called him the son of thunder because of a reason. And this gentleman John, he's the one, because he followed Jesus, and others could go away, but they went till the cross, and when Jesus took a look at him, and he said, here's your mother, and you women, this is your child, this is what Jesus was saying, praise God, this one again, he's the one who died the fatal death among the twelve disciples. He was old. He had a hundred years. Other disciples of Jesus, the history says, others were Others were Others were boiled in oil. Others died while looking upside down. Such things. And also they tried to kill him. But it was not possible. And again he died a part of death. He's the only one who died later in life. The others died fatal. Praise God. He's also the one who wrote four books. Of the gospel, the first book of John, the second and the third. Also, he wrote the book of Revelation. And then this John, this man, his death brought about some arguments about the word. Let stand there. This one is the one who was drawn on the island as he spoke of Jesus. When he got there and he got a revelation and the people who revealed today they just see some parts but Jesus and he came to a revelation the same as Daniel was revealed and he saw the end times but he didn't see about the church. But because John walked to Jesus and started from the death and he brought him as the resurrection and went and saw the end times he saw the coming back of Jesus and also the he saw the end of time, he saw the child as it was being dressed and he went and took it and took it to the ceremony and brought it back as he came back down the mountain and again and he saw a thousand years of rain and saw us with Christ. Praise God. I'll finish so fast. Because we have a funeral. We'll again speak about this word. You've sung and I felt like let me speak about the resurrection of Christ. Because the last man. I thought of the coming back of Christ. And thought of people were dying. And I was so happy for the resurrection of the church. I was happy because I will be among them. And thought of the day that we will be with those who are died. Those who we knew. Those who we didn't know. But those who died were believing. And John said in chapter 14. That he saw, saw them in the Mount Zion. And he said a word about them. Those are the ones. And he said a word. Praise God. And they thought that I also. And you also. That day. Will be together. Praise God. John. This man. We speak as we compare him with a text. In the wilderness. Or also. Or a holy living. Jesus used to tell Moses to go up Mount Sinai. 
And when he saw that it wasn't nice, and he said, make me attend attend so that I can talk with you, that went because today God is with us. His living is in our hearts. And the tent, it had three parts. But you won't speak about it. The first part, it was the outside home. It had a place where you could sacrifice. It had also a place to wash your hands. That's where the Israelites, that's the only place they could go to, they could bring their sacrifice there, and they could bring to the priest Aaron whatever sin you've made, or a thanksgiving in form of a sacrifice, or also to break a promise, a priest will say, some words to eat, and they could slaughter it, and firstly they could uh, look at it, so that they had no any problem, it revealed the son of man who wouldn't have any problem, as to, as to die for the sacrifice of me and you, everybody had the opportunity to get to that place, they had the opportunity to get to the outside place, praise God, the outside home, they could get out on there. There are some priests who had this in one year. But when Jesus came, we don't go to the outside home so that you can get a priest out The good gospel of John, he tells us the outside home that you go to, you find it Christ. He's the one you find in there. We don't find priests there. We don't take sacrifices because there's an enough sacrifice. Praise God. This tent meant Christ. The other two parts, when you get time, we'll speak about them. This is a very long gospel. We want to say the word coming near to Christ or coming near to Christ or inviting Christ otherwise there are some countries who have holidays and the holidays they do it outside they clean the nation I mostly see it in Rwanda. Everybody, even the big of the president, they do cleaning. And then afterwards they can talk. But I ask the Christians, we don't say about the cleaning outside. We say about cleaning our souls. Because you must allow Christ to work in you. Because there are some people you find them clean outside and every day you see them neat but when you come to their homes and when you get into their bedrooms you might find it dirty but the cleaning that is needed it's from your bed coming out get into your sitting room take it out then you do the outside work these three parts of the Tent, the three parts of the tent, it's from the Russia's place and the Russia's, the most of the Russia's, and a person is made of three parts, the soul, the heart, the body. Nehemiah, after coming from Babylon, he had a calling when he got to Jerusalem and he spent three days, three days, we must fast three days. We should cleanse our hearts and welcome Christ in our hearts. We clean our hearts, our hearts and our souls, so that we may clean our body. It's neither that we clean the three parts. Nehemiah, as he went to take the dove, and he got the entrance that was dark, meaning that we should repent. First of all, we welcome Christ and we prevent sins from our hearts so that Christ may be with us since he was there with, with them in the tent and also he's with us in our hearts and now 
our cleanliness, our outside cleanliness is needed. But first of all, clean your hearts. Praise God. And in the wedding in Galilee, he was invited, Jesus. When he got there, and the wine ended, after it ended, and Mary said, come near him, and whatever he tells you, do it. Whatever he commands you to do, do whatever he commands you to do. And he knew him because a child that you have given birth to, he saw the miracles that he did. And one day they left him and they found that they had left him in the temple. And when they came back, he found them having a conversation with the Pharisees. And they told him, we've searched you for long. And they, he told the, his parents that I'm not in search. Our relatives are these he did so many miracles and the mother saw and the mother said whatever he tells you do it and they brought the and there's a way he did the, the first one was not sweet but the second one the first one they had a taste it was so sweet it's because it was Christ who made it the wine of Christ is sweet but it's because they had invited him we should you personally when you go to have weddings we create some groups some invitation that the owner of the wedding has given you but at the day of the wedding they write a, write a letter and they give it to everybody or some groups they send it to anybody they feel like they should invite that is an invitation to the wedding and they gave him an invite and they tell him that he needs you. this person was wise wise men they invite Jesus any Christian a Christian, they give, they give it like a manure. Yeah, they give it the fertilizer. They give it fertilizer. A farmer that knows his work. Because these lands in Africa they don't have good soil, they give, they give it some chemicals and some manure that they put water. So that the ears, whatever reveals a, a farm of a lazy farmer, even a house of a lazy person when you get into it, and you can hear some audio. Some Christians who don't repent and Christ can smell you, he can smell some sins and he will turn. That's the way we say it. There's some people who have sins in their hearts. The Holy Spirit does not come to them. Even the angel of defense that will come to you, Jesus Christ is a cross and it's coming to you. There are some sins that is in you. And the girls from Jerusalem, and they wanted to bring a queen. But they left the house on my own. I have my own other than you. That's because I can't agree to Solomon. Those virgins, they are the worldly, they are the worldly places. They make us stay at them and make our hearts Christ go away from them. After he goes away from our hearts, they have an order and the Holy Spirit come away from us. May God forgive us. Whatever reveals a form of us, lazy, and you find it not harvested. Even the way to the farm, it is not clear there are some struggles on the way. A way to the lazy farmer. There are some big ones around. I remember there was some, a farm we used to go while kids. It would fall all the way. A farm of a lazy farmer. Because the way. The way is full of weeds. A heart of a Christian that no longer repents. Who doesn't have Christ in their heart. The heart has some weeds. May God forgive us. And Nicodemus told Christ. And say you. How can I be born the second time? And Jesus said. Truly, truly, 
And whoever is not born by the water, you cannot be born, you cannot get into the kingdom of heaven. Let me tell you again, whoever is not born by the water and Holy Spirit, you cannot get into the kingdom of heaven. Praise God. And one day Jesus and he go to the five cities on Bethsaida and there was a person who had lived for 38 years and those five cities it represent the five books of Moses they couldn't be read. They couldn't hear about it. And when he came to it, and he asked him, how are you? And he said, whenever the water turns, those who have their relatives, they put them inside. And when angels come, and they came, they get well, but I have nobody around me. Even you, I tell you, don't mistake that you have a younger person. Don't say that you have a brethren, that you have families, and you borrow some money. Call him in your wedding. But as the Christians, we don't have the only person we have is Christ. And he told him, I don't have anybody on my side. And when the water turns, they have whoever put them inside. And he said, took whatever you have and go. And he went. Praise God. One day Jesus and they brought him a sinful woman and they said we are going to stone her to death. And he wrote if you've not committed this sin, if you've not committed this sin, and he wrote using the finger and he wrote down and it seems as if he's writing in the hearts of everybody and their hearts could tell them, could them and they went back and Jesus remained with the sinful woman and say go and don't commit the sin again the day Jesus was elected and there were people going to a mouse they were saying it was Cleopas and the wife because there are some signs that show it they walked as they speak about Jesus and Jesus asked them who is that you are talking about and some people say it's pretending pretending that it's not you like asking your brother who is your parent just ask, it's like asking your kid who is your parent and you have not yet ended giving back when you are also your knowledge is not yet ended and also Jesus did the same and asked them, who are you talking about? And it was him. And he said, are you the only one who doesn't know about it? And in short term, as he went to pass, as Jesus was passing around, and he said, why can't you let us come with you in the house? And Jesus agreed to come in. And he ate and blessed it. And after that, they took it. And their eyes were open. And meaning their hearts, their hearts were open. And they went back to Jerusalem. And he dispersed among them. When they go to Jerusalem, they spoke about whatever they did. And they found the disciples praying, even us, in the morning, the women came to the house that they went to the town and they found only his friends but also we went to the place having Peter and John getting to the town and we found only the shepherds were hanging those clothes and we took this as we turned we found whoever was in he was not there and the angel revealed to them and said don't look for the dead among the living go to Galilee that's how he said that you met there and also they went those news came to us and also it has been revealed to us let's give glory to God praise God and he has revealed to us he has resurrected and revealed himself and he said I'm the one and the one you were with the one they killed instead of saying I'm the one who went and saying I'm also here to be with you again we're going to finish brethren 
the word of God you speak about it and you say it condemns you wherever you are seated and some who are seated they took it and also remember the ones who have problems with them some people that's how they do it they took the word they send it to the person to the next person and there's nobody rushes when the word of God is being spoken you should bring it to yourself bring it as an example to you everybody you should reveal to yourself as an example think about yourself and wonder how you are today how yesterday you were how you slept last night the whole week the whole month even the whole year and take a control of yourself other people will get scared of you. Even there are some kids who fear their parents. There are some men who fear their wives. There are some husbands who fear their, men, women, their wives. There are people you fear. But there is someone who can fear you. Your heart cannot be scared of you. Your heart condemns you whatever you've done. It's a miracle. You might forget. But this man Christ you're talking about, he started from the day you were born. Whatever you've done, it's in a record. If you don't repent, the day you'll come to judgment, he won't analyze anything. You'll just see it in front of you. And you also you say yes. And you say you are the judge. And they'll go to another way. And they're happy as the judgment has been done. Because he won't have any pretense. But it requires us right now. To take control of ourselves. In the book, a certain book. It says a Christian. When it came to a mountain. Because it was a mountain of troubles. And he couldn't go up it. First of all he went to a river and took some water. But again. He walked up the mountain slowly. He could use both of his hands. As he went as a four legged. Because it's a very high mountain. But there's some other two men. As the region says and also pretends, there are some other shortcuts around. There are some two ways. Some of them was destroyed. That's where they used. And they, they fell down and they didn't wake up again. But again the mountain, a Christian went up it. He could use the four-legged. He walked as a four-legged. He walked as a four-legged because it was so high. It requested that this mountain, when you go up the mountain, first of all, take some water. The same way Jesus made the fruit from and saved you and prophesied to her. And the woman accepted and also revealed the things that she has committed. And Jesus said, when she had denied to give him the water and said, if I wish you knew whoever is going water, you could give him the water because he'll give you the water of life. You'll never thirst again. And the woman said, bring it to me. Give it to me, the water. That's the one Christian took it. It's the word of God that you put in our hearts that protect us from falling into sin. And we come up the high mountain. We come up the high mountain. It's a very tough mountain. It's, this, it's the same as this world. This, we come widows. We become widowers. We lost people here. And we become orphans. Our children lost their parents. And other issues. But to, for us to go through it, praise God. Amen. 
Bena Isakari. Bena Isakari. The relatives of Isaac. Bari bazi kugenzura inkingi igicu yabaga nkibusha. They knew how to look. Nibyo bari bashinze. That's what they what they were supposed to do. And they could see if it could rain or not. And there was something going to be done. There could be three One of it was to make them aware and prepare. There's also one to stand. And again, the whole Israelites the 12 tribes, every three, they had their own flag, they had their leader, and they could go to the closest relatives, and they could stand, and if by mistake you could go to the other, you could also be killed. Some say, blessed are those who know the trumpet, they knew how to know the trumpet, to differentiate the ones to be aware, and they could know that they could go back, they could know the trumpet, to make them prepare, they could also know the trumpet to stand. Christians have the Holy Spirit in their hearts. They know how to differentiate the trumpet, the trumpet of God. They will know how to differentiate the trumpet of God. They won't ask. And those who will remain, they'll ask what has happened. And they could see some pastors who have remained. And they say, you used to preach. How have you remained? And they told them, even us, we don't know what has happened. And those who are rushers, even the young kids, they'll go to the ocean, and the, the ocean will go to the them. They'll look for people who kill them, they won't get it. But the church, you still have time. Those of today, those of today, we have time to get prepared. A time to prepare yourself. Because we don't go running after them. So that our sins may be forgiven. But let's come close to God. So that he may list our problems. Don't you know the problems you have for some years? Do you think you can be able to solve them? Like who? They, couldn't, they can't listen to you. They won't answer you. But the only person who can solve our problems without any issue that you, you are from which the person who was sick 38 years and Jesus told her stand us, the Gentiles, we are not allowed to get into the Russia's place. Come, let's get close to God. Let's put him in our hearts. The reason why some homes have issues is because they don't have Christ in their homes. The reason why you see some issues, a husband and wife, they divorce. Once I met some here outside, after they have signed the divorce papers, and we begged them. The wife was like, I, like I, I won't. The way this man treats me. And the man said, I've already signed. And I asked them, how can you sign? And we sat them together and we begged them. Until today, they're not together. And they say, one of them said, he's going to get married again. And said, where is he from? And she said, I'll send him. I cannot support such kind of a wedding. The reason why you divorce because you've not welcomed Christ, but Cleophas and the wife, and they said, come into our home. And he told them a word. And they were comforted. And they forgot that Jesus died. Because again, he had resurrected. That's the reason. If you don't have Christ, divorce again will be there because of the nation we are in how many do speak to each other and they said these recent ladies also this gentleman I'm also among them even the big men there's some who departed with their wife 
And the wife is here. They went to another nation. They say whatever they are. Can you see people departing when they are not together? I can't support such spirit. And the, she's going to get married at that time. And even the fourth, even the fifth. That's the reason. The earth is wanting. So that they can be lesbianism or gayism in the church. There are some pastors who support it. Those if you don't have Christ, if we don't bring Christ in our homes, it's so difficult to solve it. It's so easy to fall into it. But let's be awake. As the Holy Spirit is a, as He keeps our hearts, as a teacher, let the Holy Spirit teach you. Let the Holy Spirit teach you. These today's people. Let's pray. Let's 